Good morning, Wheezy Waiter. Uh, my name is Evan. I'm also known here on YouTube as the Coffee Enthusiast. And I'm here to tell you my origin story because you asked for everyone's origin stories. And I think that that's something that's always interested me as a person to, to hear basically what me, people, people. When I was going to school, when I was going through school, I was bullied a lot. I was uh, kind of always singled out. I was the weird kid, kind of a smaller town. And that was something that uh, basically shaped me. That was one of the things that shaped me because it actually didn't really stop. It wasn't just elementary school. It was elementary school, junior high, and probably about half of high school. And I'd always spent so much time, so much energy trying to appease these people that were expecting something from me, but never really told me what they were expecting from me. They just were sure that what I was doing wasn't good enough for them. And that's what you want to do in life, right? It's, it's you want to make people happy and you want to try and, and you want to be accepted and, and feel loved. And so I, I was trying really, really hard to try and uh, try and appease these people that weren't really doing anything for me and wasn't really getting me anywhere. So it got to a point in about grade seven, I was actually losing my hair from stress. I, I was actually, I had inch bald patches going back from each of my temples from stress and it wasn't, it wasn't a good time. But it was important because when I came to that tipping point, I decided, I, I said, I have two choices. I can either let these people win and, and basically like, and, and crumble, or I can dig my heels in and show them who's boss. And thankfully I chose to dig my heels in. So from that day on, I started looking at life through a different lens. I basically switched my filter and uh, it took a while. It took, it, it took um, a good five years to rebuild myself into something that I was comfortable being and didn't care if anyone else liked or didn't care if anyone else accepted because that was who I was. I took five years and I figured out these key elements and it, it says I'm going to stick around no matter what. I'm going to watch the sunrise. I'm going to see a positive in every single bad situation. And that took time. That took training. Basically I had to train myself. And I mean, I went through the counselor thing and I went through uh, the, the medication thing, but it's not what made me who I am. The, what made me who I am is the hardships that I went through. And I think that's actually what makes everyone. Because I, I've asked that question myself, actually, a whole bunch of times. What makes people people? And that's always something I've been interested in. And I'm really glad that you're giving us this opportunity. Because of that, so thank you. But of course, nobody gets through a time like that scot-free. You know, you still have your, your memories and you still have your anti-memories and you still have your vices and your fixes that help you in times of need. And coffee is one of the things that helped me get through. And I'm very grateful that it was there. I don't actually know if I'd be here today. I'm very, very grateful of it and for it. But I think because all this happened to me, it's changed my lens on life. I just want to spend the rest of my life helping as many people as possible and influencing as many people as possible. And my origin is what got me here today. The, the reason I'm on YouTube is because it's a happy medium for everything that I've wanted to do ever. I care about creation. I care about writing, photography, music, video. Like, I, I care about creation. That is my passion. That is my one complete and utter passion. And I can definitely definitely say that YouTube is the perfect medium for that. And it's something that I've always, always been passionate about. So because I spent all of these releases for photography and writing and I wrote a lot and I had a lot of dreams and goals and, and completely unattainable, mind you, but you have to dream, dream bigger, grow home kind of thing. Even if it's just to, to watch the sunrise though. And that's my advice that I give people. I say, you know, just have one guaranteed for sure thing and live for that because that will get you through even the next day maybe i'm getting a little off topic but um 
it was all it was all part of my origin and I just want to thank you for giving us this opportunity and uh, I really hope that you enjoyed hearing my origin story I think that's one of the reasons why I daily vlog is because I want to leave behind what I am because I always thought about this this guy and the you know the guy in red Pompeii who was completely covered in ash and he's preserved nobody's ever gonna know you know what his thoughts were because he never never left anything behind I don't want to leave any doubt any shadow of a doubt of who I am but again thank you I am the coffee enthusiast and uh, thanks for watching